big up to everyone lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you're watching uh, we need you need to platform from thank you so much and i do really appreciate your time once again this video i'm focusing on ghana blasters camp there is a lot of players withdraw from blasters camp which i'm going to be giving you all the details right here and i will be giving you um Otuado possible certain lineup tomorrow against nigeria as well and also um ghana and the 20 the women's side gonna play finals today against nigeria in cape coast sports stadium 8 p.m ghana time so there are some of the things i'm going to be sharing with you right here on the win unity platform please check in the cup right there anything that you need right here in spain you are here and you want to sit a lot of things back to africa and you do not know how to do it full of container or you want to buy a new container intercop is the right company for you you are in africa as well and you want a lot of things right here in europe you do not need to waste your time coming here you get need to contact intercop and get a great deal you own a ship as well and you want to come to spain for maintainers and you want shipping agency to supply you a lot of goods please do not go nowhere intercop is the right shipping agency for you so please pick the number on your screen and get much more information you can also visit our website as well www.intercop.com so very quick one this video i'm gonna um, be starting on the possible starting lineup tomorrow you know daniel amate redraw from blasters camp i do not know what is the reason and giron mesa also are not in blasters camp and alexander juku as well all these players are not in blasters camp but the report yesterday showing clearly that he was in camp but i do not know as i'm recording this video these players are not in ghana blasters camp that is the reason why i'm going to be giving you the possible starting lineup so not to waste your time very quick one i'll be starting loris atizigi okay loris atizigi this season so far play 27 games for his club side um the swedish league yes FC Sangali in Suri, uh, Suzala. And my number, the, the right, the right back, I will be going for Tarek Lamte. Tarek Lamte this season so far, okay, Tarek Lamte this season, this season, Tarek Lamte play four matches for Europa League, that is the Europa League. And the Premier League, Tarek Lamte play, um, 13 matches, no goal, 3 assists, and 3 yellow card, no red card. And the Europa League as well, 4 games, no goal, no assists, 2, two yellow card. Comparing to Ali Rizero, he's much better than Ali Rizero and Dennis Odoi. Moving to... Moving to... Um, moving to my number... The, the left back, I'll be going for... Patrick, Patrick Pozo, the left back. I will be going for Patrick Pozo. Why? Because um, Gideon Mensa is not there. So the perfect replacement is Patrick Pozo. That is my personal opinion. And Patrick Pozo as well, this season so far in the Czech Republic First League, he played 25 games, no goal, two assists, and one yellow card, no red card. You can also see that on the screen as well. Comparing to um, comparing to Ebenezer Anan, Ebenezer Anan as well can start the game. Like he also play like twenty one games, no goal, two assists, five yellow card. Meaning he's not really disciplined. That is why he have a lot of yellow card. So I'll be going for Patrick Kuzo. Okay. Now, the center backs, the center back that is no, the center back that is no Alexander Juku, that is no Daniel Amati. So I will be going for Mohamed Salusu, okay? Mohamed Salusu, right there. I will be going for Mohamed Salusu. Mohamed Salusu came back from injury not quite long ago on the French League One with Monaco. So so far, Mohamed Salusu played eight games for Monaco. And no goal, one assist, two yellow card, and no red card so far. That is Mohamed um, Salusu. So I will play with um, Joron Opoku ahead of 
um, um, I had a um, this um, guy Adams, Kasim Adams. I will play Joron. Uh, uh, yes, Jorom, Jorom Opuku. Why? Because when you check Jorom Opuku play the Turkish Super League this season so far as a defender. He played 20 games, scoring four goals, giving one assist and also six yellow cards, six yellow cards and one red card. You can also see it on your screen. So I believe that he's doing very well as a defender, um, play 20 games, scoring four goals and one assist comparing to Kasim Adams. I think um, he's far better to my personal opinion and this is not the first time for him to play for Black Stars. The first call-up was when um, Ghana played against Mexico and United States. So I'll, if I was to be Otuado, I will give him a second chance and to see if Daniel Amate, Alexander Juku, those players are not there in the future. Can we believe uh, uh, on him? So that is my main reason why I will be going for um, Yes, Opoku, Jerome Opoku. So that will be the defenders moving for the midfielders. Like the information always is four four. I mean four two three one four two three one, which you can see it on your screen as well. I'll be going for um, Salem Abdul Samet. Okay, Salem Abdul Samet this season as well. Salem Abdul Samet play twenty three game for his team in the French League 1 scoring no no go here zero go zero assist two yellow card and no red card but experience wise I will be playing him alongside Fonso Amankwa uh, Amankwa yes Amankwa is also doing very well and with it is he was called lead, lead to replace um Elias Owusu so, Amankwa play in the Australian side. He play 18, 18 matches, two goals, two assists, and one yellow card. Um, he's good. He's doing very good. So, to my personal opinion, I think he is the perfect man to replace um, Elias or Wusu right there. So, moving to the front three, I will be going for Fatao Isahaku. If you check off. Most of the the, the, the the midfielders, the wingers, Fatao Isako is one of the players that get a lot of number of games this season. And also, he's always giving assists. So he's in fine form with the Leicester City in the championship side, which you can see on your screen as well. Um, he played 31 matches this season so far, scoring three goals giving 10 assists 10 assists also one yellow card and one red card as well that is Fatao Isako so Fatao Isako will be playing for um, the number um, the wings the right side and I'll be going for Jordan Ayu for the, the, the left wing Jordan Ayu for the left wing why because there's a lot of young players and a lot of new players in the in the team. So you need at least one or two senior players in the team so that they can able to um, talk to the young ones as well. That is my main reason why Jordan Ayu will be playing for the left the left wing. And this season so far, Jordan Ayu play 26 matches for the in the English Premier League Crystal Palace, scoring four goals giving six assists and also seven yellow card wow that is that is a lot jordan you have to be disciplined <laughs> seven yellow card and one red card jordan are you this season and the number 10 rule i'll be giving to francis abu the read i know ns norma can play there Perfect for there is no Mohamed Kudus and as Noma can play for the 10 row, but and as Noma and as Noma, we already knew what he can do. So, to my personal opinion, 
Francis Abu was was called to replace Mohammed Kudus. So if you do not believe the guy for the first place, why do you have to invite him to replace Mohammed Kudus? So he should start the game. He is typical number 10. Let's say um, NS Norma is not really typical number 10. He is the left back. He is a winger. Uh, they, they, they play for not the left back. Um, the, the wings. He is the left. So he's not. he can play the 10. Okay, he can play the 10 rule, but he's not really, really typical number 10. But the one, the player that is typical number 10 is Francis Abu. Yes. And Francis Abu, and because he was in, he went injured and he came back not quite long ago. So for that reason, he played only eight games so far this season in the Belgium um, Pro League. No go, no assist, one yellow card. So it depends. Maybe the end of the day, Otoado may use um, NS Norma. So if you use NS Norma, I don't really have a problem at all because NS Norma is a great player that way really he can also play for the number 10. But this guy should also give a chance, then we see what he can do. That is my personal opinion, okay? And as usual, you know, the who will be leading the attack is Anton Semenyo. Yes, Anton Semenyo will be leading the attack for Ghana. And Anton Semenyo this season, he did very well. This season, Anton Semenyo played 24 games, scoring 7 goals, 1 assist, and also 4, four yellow card, no red card right there in the English Premier League with uh, Bournemouth. So, what do you think? That is my personal opinion, and this is my possible starting lineup against um, Nigeria tomorrow. And we're going to see, you know, Ghana Black Stars, you need to win this game tomorrow. If you allow Nigeria to win, we will not have peace of mind and we will not sleep. So, Black Stars, you have to beat Nigeria tomorrow. Otuado, with your guys, you guys have to beat. Nigeria tomorrow. This is not a friendly match. This is a Jollof World Cup. If you guys do not know, this is a Jollof World Cup. Jollof World Cup, we are going to play. So please, Black Star players, if you guys are watching, please. This is not a friendly match. This is a World Cup. This is a Jollof World Cup. Okay. So, um, the way the things are going, I don't think that Mohamed Diamande will be <laughs> coming to Ghana. Um, I will give you an update later on about about Mohamed Diamande. So, let me go quick. Ghana, um, the women's side going to play finals against Nigeria um, today. 8 p.m. Ghana time, if I get it right, in um, Cape Coast Sports Stadium get free so you guys should go if you are in ghana go keep cool support the ladies let them make us proud it's another jollof world cup so our ladies you guys have to try and make us proud and you see this is the problem i'm always talking about they say get free this is the problem i'm always talking about as we Ghanaians, you know, sometimes we are always talking about the leaders are not, the leaders are not improving things. But do you notice that Ghanaians will love free things? Why? Because if this match was to be in Europe here, it is a finals. They are going to play finals. It's not just any friendly match. Like this game will not be free here in Europe. Even though if kids are training sometime, they pay money to go and watch. Why? Because they knew clearly that paying money. That is where the AFA is going to get money to make improvement in the country. But Ghana, even if House and Kotoko come into play, people want to go inside free. Even though if a Black Star is going to play in Accra, people want to go free. But the same people that are people that are coming out saying that, well, the leaders should make improvement. Where do you think that the leaders will always get the money to make the improvement? So we should try. Because if we really want things to be better, we have to also pay in money because 
almost this black uh, black princess they are games they play in cape coast was always free free so as i said the end of the day when the players maybe come out and say well they haven't get their winning bonus they haven't get this you will see we the media we will see we as Ghanaians will come out here to say the leaders are not taking care of the ladies but meanwhile all the time they play nobody go there and pay money they go for free so where are they going to get money and pay or put things together this is the biggest problem as Ghanaians sometimes we are not trying we are not trying at all we want things free 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 but we want the country to be better we want the national team to be better someone will say well when you talk about this sometimes they get money from when they are going to play World Cup and money from here but there are some certain things we as Ghanaians we need to understand that these Euro countries we see them doing a lot of things if they are they are their citizens are just going everywhere for free they want things for free here if you like go out go open something and you say you are selling this you must to pay ties you must to pay you, you can't just go somewhere and say you are going for free but if you notice Ghanaians we some of Ghanaians we lack free things if has is going to play supporters want some of the fans want a uh, stadium to be free and the same you the fans you will also say they are not paying the players and they are not doing this and they are not doing that and they are not bringing better coaches where are they going to get the money and pay better coaches so please let's uh, try we can improve as a Ghanaian. we can improve much better to my personal opinion so um let me finish with you with some of um, the friendly matches okay i'm interested to uh, about the african um, teams as i'm recording this video before i finish maybe it will be your time whatever you're watching me for maybe that time eight o'clock i don't know so right now i'm recording this video Cape Verde will be starting very soon with um, yeah they will play their friendly match and Guinea also will play their friendly match today those matches is today um Ethiopia played their friendly match already they lost to Lesotho by two goals to one and South Africa will also play South Africa playing today um that will be um nine depending wherever you're watching me from that would be nice so south africa will play against Honduras, and tomorrow tanzania will play against bulgaria nigeria will play against um ghana and senegal will play against gabon yeah and morocco will play against angola and Algeria will play against uh, akologo which is bolivia <laughs> so that is um what i have for you what do you think about the certain lineup i put right here and let's all support the um the under 20 women's team let them beat nigeria tonight so thank you very much for always watching a really unity platform i really really appreciate your time with me right here mm -hmm.